Hello, this is the Imperian Trooper 7. I got this mechanical keyboard from Shopee for 1800 and it was delivered in only 3 days. So I have been using it for a while and I am liking it. This is the box itself and as you can see it has very minimal damage. There are a few folds here and there but it's better than other packages delivered by Shopee. On the front of the box you'll see Imperian Born to Conquer and Trooper 7 which is the model of the keyboard. It uses Otemu blue switches and this is a TKL design so it has 87 keys. This is this supports Windows. I'm not sure if it has support for Mac but I don't think so. On the back of its box you'll see the features of the keyboard. Again it uses blue switches. It has a lifespan of up to 50 million keystrokes. The keyboard is made of aluminum and of course it has RGB. You can customize your own lighting but we'll get to that later. It has a golden plated USB connector and just with any other mechanical keyboard it has full keys anti ghost and full end keys rollover. The keycaps are double injected so they won't um they won't fade over like even with heavy use. All right, so this is the keyboard itself. It is pretty heavy because as mentioned earlier, it is made of aluminum. So I'm gonna weigh that. And the keyboard is around five kilograms or 500 grams. For the cable itself, it is braided. So that's gonna be pretty durable. And the cable is, for me, since I play, I plug this into a laptop, it is enough, but I don't think this will be long enough for people who want to plug this into their desktop. And the wire, the cable is not detachable. On the back of the keyboard, it has four rubber mats and two kickstands. The kickstands themselves don't have rubber matting. And all right, here on the right side, you'll see the Imperian branding, Imperian Born to Conquer. All right, so I'm going to give you a type test. Just for comparison, that is the Owatemu blue switches, which are the creakiest ones. And I have here an RK61 with red switches. Just so you can hear how loud this is. Alright, so it does have 11 different lighting modes. So it was mentioned in the box that you can customize your own lighting and to do that you press fn 7 8 or 9 so fn 7 as you can see what i did was these are the only ones that light up cz doesn't matter where you press those are the only ones that stay lit up so to change that you just press fn home and then you'll see the shift lock and the caps lock blinking you can go ahead and customize it if you want only those keys to stay lit up and then you press FN home again to lock it in and 
there. You can save up to three, I believe, which is by pressing seven, eight, or nine. All right, thank you. Um, is this worth getting? Yes, this is definitely worth getting if you're planning to switch from maybe like a membrane or a laptop keyboard to a mechanical keyboard. This is a pretty good entry level keyboard and I haven't had any issues with it so far. As for gaming, I have, I, I have played games on it and I didn't experience any sort of delay. Alright, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.